In this tutorial, I'll show you how you can make this beautiful portfolio page on your Elementor website. So when you scroll down, you can see this amazing card refill effect where you can show your content in the middle. Also at the very bottom, you can also add your email address and all the social links. And when someone click on this mail, it has been also copied to their clipboard. So they can easily write an email just by pasting that. Okay, so without any further ado, let's see how we can make this amazing portfolio page. All right, so to create this portfolio page, we only need the free version of Elementor. We don't need Elementor Pro or any other extra plugin. And now here, I will start everything from scratch. But if you also don't want to watch this full tutorial and only want to get this fully functional portfolio page as a ready-made template, you can also get this from my template shop. So after downloading the zip file, here you will get both the container and the old section column version. So if you just go inside the container, from here we can just upload this to our template upload option. And if we insert this, here we can see our this page and from here we can easily change all the content and everything and it's also perfectly responsive for the tablet and the mobile devices. Okay, but if you also don't want this ready-made template, you can also start it from scratch. So I will delete all of the content and now I will start everything from scratch. So first of all, I want to create our that top banner section. Let's take a new container and inside this container, I want to add a heading widget and also some text, this text editor widget. So let's change this text and also the text for this paragraph. Okay, now before doing anything for our this container, I want to make it to full height. So make it to 100 VH and align this content to the center so make both of these to center okay and here also for our this full page i also want to give it a background color so from the settings from here we can set it to fully black okay now let's go back to here and i want to give its color to fully white and also change the typography and here you can see I have already set the default font to Poppins for this website. So you can see all the content in Poppins font. Okay, then for our this paragraph, I also want to make its color to fully white and change the typography from here. And also I want to narrow it down. So from here, let's reduce the width 450 pixel. Okay, and also need to adjust the alignment to the center perfect so our top section is done now after that here i want to create our main portfolio section so let's take any container and first of all i want to make its height to 100 vh and make the width to 650 pixel now inside that first of all i want to create a paragraph at the top and write down here some information about this project from the style, let's also give its color to fully white and change the font size to 15 pixel. And right after that, here we want to create the title for this project. So from here, we can easily copy this. And if we paste it to here, we can then change its text. Okay, but it looks too huge. So I want to reduce its size to only 75 pixel. Now to place all the content to the middle of this section, let's go again to this container and make both of them to the center. And also for our this text, I want to align it to the center. Now after that, here I want to create a button so we can easily drag this button widget right after that. And let's quickly make some changes. Okay, so here instead of this green background, we want to make it to fully transparent color and I want to give here some border. So make it to solid one pixel and make the radius to 50 pixel. Let's also adjust this padding. Then finally at the very bottom here, we also want to add a line. 
so we can do that by using our this divider widget first from this width option make it to 260 pixel and from here let's make the width to 20 and we don't need any gap and from here let's give it a color now here i also want to make some rounded corner so from this border option make the border radius to 50 pixel but you can see we cannot see that border radius so to see that properly first of all we need to go to here and we need to remove that color so i want to make it to fully transparent and instead we will use that color from our this background option okay now we can see our that border radius properly now here between this content i also want to adjust their spacing so first with our this content i want to make some bottom margin and also for this divider widget let's make some top margin now you can see inside our this page all of our this content are in white color but i want to make some varieties with our this line i want to add a gradient background color so first of all let's add a class with that mdw gradient and then we need to add some custom css code so for that here let's search for the html widget and drag this to anywhere of your page and inside that let's paste this code okay here you don't need to worry about any of this code snippet i will give all the code snippet to my website and from here you can just copy and paste that code okay now we can see our this gradient background color has been added with our this divider and if you look at this code here you can see we have used these five different colors to create our this gradient background and if you want you can also change this color palette from here so now here i also want to use this gradient background with our this heading so with this one let's add the same class and we can see that beautiful gradient color so with our this heading i also want to add an entrance animation from here if we select fading up and for this one i want to select this fading animation so from our preview now we can see that beautiful entrance animation and if you notice carefully you can see this entrance animation looks much improved than the default entrance animation because we have improved this animation by using our css on here okay so right now i want to go back to our this main portfolio section and i want to add our these two images for our that animation so from here let's add an image widget right after this divider widget let's upload an image so initially i want to place this image at the middle of our this section for that here let's go to this positioning option make it to absolute and also remove this offset values now it's perfectly on center here we also want to add some border radius with that make it to 35 now we also want to add an height and width for this image but we don't do it from this default height and width option because i want to set both of them in vh unit so you can see with our this custom css we have already set that height and width for our desktop the tablet and the mobile devices so to make it work we need to just add a class with that mdw card portfolio image left and with our this parent container we also need to add another class mdw card portfolio okay now we can see that image perfectly so finally we also want to add another image so let's duplicate this and if we just open our navigator we can see these two image perfectly so for the second one i want to add an another one okay but for the second one i want to add an another class mdw card portfolio image right because instead of left i want to animate this on the right side okay so we have done our first portfolio section now i want to just duplicate this and create multiple portfolios but before that i want to check its responsiveness for the tablet and mobile devices because you know it's always a good practice to check the responsiveness before duplicating any content so we don't have to make it responsive again for our duplicated content okay so from here if we just hide our these two images we can see for our this container we need to reduce its width here make it to 400 
and also reduce the size of this heading let's reduce the spacing on here it looks good for the tablet and finally for the mobile here we need to reduce the container width furthermore make it to 320 pixel and here instead of 100 vh height i want to make it to zero so i want to give some top and bottom padding here now let's go back to the desktop and now here we can easily duplicate our this portfolio okay so for this one i want to change this content this heading and if we unhide those images here we can also upload an another image and by following the same process let's quickly create some other portfolio items so after creating all of them here lastly i also want to add our email section so let's add a new container now if we look at our this final result here you can see this text get in touch and when you hover over on this email we can see this changed to click to copy and when you copy this text it's again changed to another text copied so basically here we can see three different text and it will change according to the condition so to create this basically here we need to create three different text editor widget and first we need to wrap this inside an another container okay we can easily copy and text editor widget from here and paste it inside our this container let's change this text and here also at the bottom we don't need this huge spacing so let's reduce the space and let's quickly just duplicate this for the second one right here click to copy and for the third one copy it okay now i want to reduce the spacing between them so go to expand container and make the gap to zero also get rid of this padding so also make it to zero let's align them all of them to the center so go to here and make it to the center also for this container make sure to keep this direction to the column now from here let's say it's a height 22 pixel but we can see it doesn't work so to make it work here we need to add an another class mdw email copy but here we can still see some text outside of our this container so basically we need to go to this overflow option and make it to hidden perfect now let's go back to our this main container and for this one i want to set its height to 50 vh and align all the content at the bottom here so make it to the end and right after that i want to add my email so for that from here i just want to copy this heading widget and paste it inside here okay let's reduce this huge font size so from here make it to 35 pixel make the weight to 500 okay let's also make some padding around that from here make it to 20 pixel also make a different background color and finally let's also add some border and make the border radius to 15 pixel so now you can see that looks really very awesome but here i don't want to make it to full width so go again our this band container and i want to make its ln item to the center now that looks perfect so right after our email here finally i want to add some social links so first let's add a new container and inside that we will add some social buttons so like before from here we can copy and button and paste it to here i want to make it to a facebook button and to make it a little smaller let's also reduce some padding let's duplicate this and this one i want to make it instagram and the last one to twitter okay now to place all them horizontally let's go to this band container make the direction to the row reduce the spacing between them and also align all of them to the center and we can see at the very bottom we need some spacing 
So from here, let's add some bottom margin. Now that looks perfect. So we have designed all of our content. Now finally, to make it functional, we need to add some JavaScript code. So previously, here we have used some CSS code and we need to go to the very bottom of this code and here we need to just paste our remaining JavaScript code. If we save this page from our preview, we can see that beautiful entrance animation and also this image reveal effect that looks really cool. And also at the very bottom, we can see this email section. Okay, but it doesn't work. Maybe we forget to add an class here. So if we go to here, yeah, we need to add another class mdw email box. Okay, now we can see this hover effect working perfectly. And if we click on this, this text is also copied to our clipboard. So if you paste it, we can see that email address. Okay, so now everything is working perfectly on our desktop. Now let's quickly check it for our other devices. So firstly, let's go to the tablet. And you can see we have already made our this portfolio section responsive. So let's take a look at this top section. And here I want to reduce the size of this text. So go to the typography, make it to 70 pixel. That looks good. And if we look at the bottom, this text also looks too big. So we also need to reduce this. Finally, check it on mobile. So for mobile, here we also need to reduce it furthermore. And let's also adjust the padding for our this container. So make it to 20 pixel on the left and right. And finally, for our this bottom section, here instead of 50 VH, I want to make it to 30 VH. Okay, now if we see it from the mobile, you can see it also looks really very perfect everything is perfectly working. So that's how you can make this beautiful portfolio page for your Elementor website. If you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on my next video.